Hello everybody, it's Dirk again. Uh, just figured I'd do a little video since it's been uh, a little bit. Um, just get everybody kind of caught up on uh, what's going on. It's been kind of <laughs> kind of crazy. Um, so yeah, just a, a, a basic overview of uh, the chain of events. I went uh, to Schneider's Orientation in Gary, Indiana. I uh, was there for two weeks doing all of their classroom and simulator and work in the yard with maneuvering and backing and all that good stuff, uh, over the road training, um, you know, all of that stuff and uh, got through that, graduated, uh, cum laude, just kidding, um, graduated, got through that, was given my first uh, assignment to go out with a road trainer which is the you know the, the end of the whole process you have to go out over the road with a trainer and then uh, once you complete that and that trainer signs off on you uh, that's when you become a solo driver and get your own truck so that said um, <laughs> the first trainer that I got uh, wonderful guy and uh, we had one day together and uh, he was transferred all of a sudden to go to one of the operating centers to become a trainer uh, for the you know the orientation classes um, at an operating center so you know a nice move for him uh, and I was very happy for him uh, that you know that he got that opportunity um, unfortunately for me uh, <laughs> that meant that after one day I was without a trainer so Ended up sitting for the rest of the week. Um, now, you know, to Schneider's credit, they do pay me because I am available. Um, so they did pay me for that downtime. So that's uh, that's a, a good thing. And uh, I was set up the following week to begin again uh, with another trainer. Um, and this trainer was pulling for the Dollar General account and uh, out of the op out of their distribution center up in Janesville, Wisconsin. And, um, you know, the plan was Monday morning, we were gonna hook up and, and get underway. Um, Monday morning, bright and early, I'm in the shower at zero dark 30 in the morning, my phone's ringing. I'm like, oh, who the hell is calling me at this hour? And then of course, you know, in my sleepy haze, it dawned on me that, oh, you know, that's probably the trainer, I wonder what's up. So sure enough, get out of the shower and uh, it is uh, my, my next trainer to be. Um, and uh, <laughs> his, uh, a person in his family uh, had tested positive for COVID on Friday. And because of that, of course, uh, with him being in direct contact with this person, uh, he has to quarantine. So <laughs> Monday morning I find out, okay, that's not gonna work now because this poor guy's got a quarantine. Um, yeah, so that leaves me down for one other week, uh, which is this week. So uh, today is Thursday, and uh, I found that out, of course, bright and early on Monday morning. Um, and uh, they have since uh, set me up for yet another trainer, um, this time uh, uh, a woman, uh, which is kind of cool, and uh, a woman who pulls out of the um, uh, intermodal yard uh, in Chicago on the south side, um, which is great. So. I can, uh, and she's a home daily driver, just like my first trainer was, which is really fantastic, which means I don't have to sleep in an upper bunk of a Cascadia, uh, which at six foot five and 230 something pounds, um, those upper bunks are pretty pretty tight. Um, lower bunk, no problem, but that upper bunk, yeah, not real comfortable for somebody my size. Um, so obviously delighted to hear that uh, she's a home daily driver. Uh, so the plan is, uh, I'm just going to be at home. Uh, I'm close enough. And, uh, you know, so next week, uh, I'll just go, you know, bright and early, uh, before the sun's up and just drive down to the, to that, uh, intermodal yard, jump on the truck with her. We'll go do our, uh, our thing and then come back in the evening to that same yard. And, uh, I'll go home from there, sleep in my own bed and then go back at it, uh, the next day. So couldn't be better news for me. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm apparently uh, good things come to those who wait, I guess. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, so that's, uh, that's the update. It's uh, unfortunately uh, taken, uh, taken a quick minute, um, a lot longer than I was originally planning for or hoping for. I thought I would be well on my way on the road by now uh, and making money. But, you know, as I said, to 
to Schneider's credit, uh, they've all been exceptionally nice, um, you know, downright apologetic for all the stuff that's coming, you know, that's been going on. And, uh, you know, you just got to roll with it. You know, that, you know, we are in the middle of a pandemic still. So, you know, okay, stuff happens. Um, so, you know, I'm good with it. Uh, they're good enough to pay me for the downtime. Uh, Cause again, I am you know available for duty. If they need me, I can go at a moment's notice. So um, they are paying me, so that's great. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. So I just wanted, like I said, I just wanted to check in and uh, let people know what's going on. And uh, yeah, any other uh, developments as they come, I will, uh, I will talk to you guys uh, soon, hopefully. So. Um, yeah, let's hope this one doesn't fall through and uh, we can get on with things. So I uh, hope everybody has a great day. Hope things are going well and uh, we will see you soon. See ya.